very crooked. Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Cherry. Today I'm opening a box. I'm, I'm, I went through a, a very small period where I opened a lot of boxes. And then I had to like quit buying stuff so that I could recoup and, and uh, let my, my investments I guess, grow. And so I miss, I miss not opening boxes. I can tell you guys what's in here. Show you. <laughs> we have got in this box two silver beam ball jointed dolls and here's her cute little card I purchased these off of Etsy I don't know how long ago it was it was several weeks and I want to say that her um. Her description specifically says allow six to eight weeks, I believe, and it was less than that. All the same, she apparently expected these to ship sooner, as I did get a notification with an apology saying, your stuff is shipping soon. We're so sorry for the delay. I'm going, delay? Really? Oh, okay. So, I was actually delighted to get these as quick as I did. She has some cute little paper stars. Aren't they? They're adorable. Well, these will give them my other paper stars. And here... Are my little ponies? Um, um, I'm saying um a lot today. Silverbeam was running a, I think it was actually a two for one type deal on her ball jointed. Oh, these feel weird. On her ball jointed dolls, and uh, my friend Vertify and I had been eyeball, we've been eyeballing these duels. Uh, for months, years, I'm not even sure how long. And so when we saw that she had a two-for-one special, both me and Verdi went in and purchased a doll each. So that's what I've got here. I've got one for me and one for a friend. And here they are. We purchased a Pegasus for Vertife, and this light's no good. I don't usually film this early in the day, and usually the sun's a little further over. And then we got a little alicorn for yours, truly. Oh, there, look, there's a little, sh there's, there's some shadow there. You can actually see the detail on the pony. These dolls, these dolls are 3D printed. So I was extremely interested on getting my hands on these as I live in a household full of very technologically inclined young gentlemen. And while I am not terribly technologically inclined, I of course am an artist and so the idea of 3D printing. You're going into like joint, uh, joint effort, joint. Joint, joint something. With me and my guys, we figured we could probably print some really cool stuff. I really wanted to feel it. Well, this doll feels very, it feels very grainy. And I wish that I could show you guys what I see. But I'm pretty sure the light's junk and it's not going to pick it up. But you can actually see the layers where the machine actually printed. Oh, I do wish I could show you that. And I've heard that, you know, this is very easy to fix. You just file it down. So, resin definitely feels better than this. I think it's ABS plastic. I should do my research first before I go making such claims. I don't know what kind of plastic they use for these 3D, print, print, for these 3D printers. But it's very light. It's very poseable. Mm. It's mostly poseable. The wings are a little odd. And 
She doesn't feel terribly fragile. Let's see, I think even her little hooves, yeah, even her hooves are, are jointed. So, really, really cool, and for the price that we paid for them, definitely worth every little penny, I think. I'm not sure how I'm going to go about customizing her. As, as you can see, she doesn't have traditional holes in her skull for glass or acrylic eyes, and... But they're, they're indentions, so painting them alone is not quite going to do it. Also, I guess you're, you'd either need to purchase or hand make your own wig to fit these ponies, although they do have a hole in their little rear end for a tail. I'm pretty sure that Silver Beam also makes mane and tail bonus packages type things that you could purchase, and you just plug the tail in, and that's what the hole is about. I'm just going to have to be creative and see what, I'll have to ask her, what, what do you want from me, darling? I did buy the alicorn with the expressed intentions of making a Jubilee Jack, which is, of course, my persona. And that's definitely what I'll be doing with her, whether or not I'll be using pastels or acrylic paints. I'm not, I'm not sure how I'm going to go about this. This is a totally new medium for me. But there they are. That's pretty much all that we had for this video. <laughs> so this one will be going flying home very, very soon to Verdi so that she can play with her ponies like I'm doing. And uh, I'll be very interested to see what she does with hers as well. If you guys have any of these and you've, you've customized them, I would love to see pictures. Please post links down in the, in the bottom. Let me see what you've done with them. I need some inspiration. I'm going to have to do some research. Cause like I said, new medium. Not really sure how to go about with these guys. But very excited and very pleased to have them here. That is all for today's video. We will see you guys next time. Bye.